Well, Chicago public school officials report that record high attendance was possible, even though hundreds of parents decided to keep their children away for the first two days of classes. CLTV's Judy Wang tells us where the fight to change school funding goes from here. It's an educated guess of an answer to the... A new record for the school district and for Dunn Technology Academy in Roseland, where nearly 99% of students reported for class on the first day of school. I am thrilled that more people heard our message than any other message, no matter where it came from. And I'm excited by the fact that so many children were in the right place at the right time. CBS officials say first day attendance for the entire school system was at 93.7 percent, up from 93 percent last year. That is in spite of a boycott led by the Reverend and State Senator James Meeks. First, Meeks bus more than 1,000 students to the north suburbs in an attempt to point out inequalities in school funding. On day two, Meeks sent students to the lobbies of public buildings and major corporations before calling it off because Governor Rob Blagojevich refused to meet with him until that happened. A spokesman says the governor believes it is wrong to use children as political pawns and is glad Senator Meeks has called off his boycott. Our office is in the process of trying to schedule a meeting. Mayor Richard Daley urges Governor Blagojevich to support a tax swap that would shift the burden for school funding from property taxes toward the state income tax. Remember, when you have a public official that raises their hand and say, I pledge never, 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 never to raise any new revenue, how do you run your household and how do you run a business and how do you run a government? Paul, who taught you to indent and leave a space? Despite setting a new attendance record, CPS officials plan to go door to door Saturday in search of children who still aren't in class. In Roseland, Judy Wang, CLTV News.